Hi everybody, my name is Sean Sayer, I'm station manager of Channel 5. Welcome to What's On PCT5. Uh, this is the first in a series, I hope, of monthly programs where you'll be able to tune in at this time and see what's on Channel 5. Uh, as you can see from the back of me, we had a nice day here in June and we're looking out over beautiful Silver Lake in Pittsfield. It's certainly nice to look at anyway. And we have all the cars going by, so if it sounds really loud while I'm talking to you, that's the way it goes. It's nice out and that's where we are. Uh, let's just go over our Monday lineup first of all, and I'll tell you what's on uh, our regular schedule on Mondays in June. We have Healthline with Dr. Jeffrey Feldman, that's at 8 p.m., uh, live on the f uh, first and third Mondays of the month. Uh, Dr. Feldman often has guests from the medical community come on and uh, take your calls uh, dealing with health-related issues. It's actually a very good program and we hope you uh, tune in for it. On the second and fourth Mondays of the month, uh, host and inventor of Acronimble, Steve May, also known as Mr. E. Nimwit, hosts Berkshire County's only live game show. That's called Acronimble. And uh, as many of you know, it's uh, quite fun to tune in and to uh, watch the show as it goes on, to call in with your noodles, as it were. And uh, they certainly have a lot of fun producing it here at uh, Channel 5 Studios on 163 4th Street. Also on the second and fourth two, uh, Mondays of the month, you'll see from a woman's point of view, which is hosted by former city councilor Cynthia Betters. Uh, Cynthia, uh, for a half an hour at 6.30 on the second and fourth Mondays of the month live, uh, she brings in guests who uh, speak about topics concerning women and women's issues. And it's actually a very interesting program. We hope you'll tune in at 6.30 on Mondays. Positive TV is produced by Janie Ray. Janie produces quite a few remote programs for us here at Channel 5. And, uh, that program is hosted by Mr. Jerry Posner, Mr. Positive. Uh, if you need a boost in your life and things aren't going quite your way, uh, you might want to tune in to Positive TV. That's seen Monday nights at 6 p.m. And finally, uh, every day on Channel 5, you can tune in to a program called Adopt a Pet, uh, also produced by Janie Ray. Shot on location at Berkshire Humane Society. That's at, on Cadwell Road in Pittsfield. She goes there and films uh, all the dogs, cats, and other animals that are up for adoption uh, currently. And uh, it's a really nice program. It's on every day at 5.30 p.m. You can watch that and see if you'd like to adopt one of these wonderful pets. I know I did. I've had a pet from the Berkshire Humane Society now uh, since August of last year. And guess what? I saw it on Adopt-A-Pet. And that's where I found my kitty, Misha. All right, let's go on to uh, Tuesday evenings. As you know, uh, one of the most popular programs seen here on Channel 5 on Tuesday evenings is the Pittsfield City Council meeting. Uh, people from Pittsfield flock in numbers to tune into Channel 5, 7.30 at night on Tuesdays. And it's, uh, it's quite the program. It becomes quite the show sometimes. But everybody's interested to see how their government works. Uh, we hope you tune in to that. Uh, it, of course, all these programs are produced by volunteers, and the city council meeting is no exception. These are people that uh, give of their time to come down to the city council meeting to produce, to shoot, uh, use cameras and uh, audio, and, and just about everything it takes, including loading the equipment in, to do this program. It's quite an ordeal, but it's worth it because it's a good program. Also on Tuesday nights uh, before the city council meeting, if you'll tune in at 6 p.m., also live on the second and fourth Tuesdays, you'll see a program called From the Corner Office. Mayor Ed Riley uh, comes to you live from his office, that's not a set, that's really his office, for an hour every uh, second and fourth Tuesday. And he uh, speaks directly to the citizens about questions they may have about their city government, about uh, just about any issue at all, really, he'll take. And uh, it's a wonderful opportunity if you don't get a chance to go to the mayor's office to speak to him. Essentially, you're right there in your own living room. At 7 o'clock on Tuesdays, you'll see a program called Tonight's Agenda. That's hosted by Lorelei Bolak from WBRK Radio. Uh, that program explores a few of the issues that will be brought up that night at the city council meeting. I know that just by watching the meeting, sometimes things really slip right by because you don't have an agenda in front of you and you don't really understand what might be coming up or what all the fuss is about. Well, 
The good thing about that program is that Lorelei goes through the issues, usually with one or two counselors uh, who will be involved that night or who have brought up petitions. So uh, that's usually a very informative show, and if you'd like to know more about what's going on at the meeting, that's a great place to find out. 7 p.m. live on the second and fourth Tuesdays of the month. Okay, so what goes on on Channel 5 the weeks that nothing happens on the city council front? Well, on the first Tuesday of the month, we have a very good program. It's called Straight Talk uh, with Lillian Markentel. If, you're, uh, if you've heard about Lillian, she's a consumer advocate and she has a consumer advocate group. She comes in once a month to do a live show on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. That's the first Tuesday of the month, okay? Uh, she has people from uh, the consumer offices in Boston and home repair people and uh, just about everybody that you can uh, consider would be a, a, of consumer's interest. And she brings those people right on the show. You can call them live and talk to them uh, with your questions, problems, as long as you don't mention any company names or anything like that, um, everything's cool. So tune into that program uh, the first Tuesday of the month at 7 p.m. On the third Tuesday of the month at 8 p.m., Cable Ties, hosted by the general manager of Warner Cable, Sal Granello, can be seen. That's a chance for people in Pittsfield, Dalton, and Richmond to call in with questions about their cable service, what channels are on, which ones aren't on, uh, which ones you'd like, um, maybe questions about uh, how much it costs for people to come out to your house to fix your cable. Uh, any questions like that are, are gladly answered by Mr. Granello. And that can be seen again third Tuesdays of the month at 8 p.m. Let's move on to Wednesday. Uh, always been a very exciting night for programming here on Channel 5. Uh, one of the first nights that we ever programmed, actually, about four years ago. Oh, by the way, I hadn't mentioned that we've uh, been programming here at Channel 5, Community Access TV, for about four years now, and our open house is coming up. Uh, if you'd like to come down, that'll be the 16th of June. Uh, that'll be in the evening from around 6 p.m. until about 9. We'll be on live that night. Uh, that'll be a big night for everybody down here. We'll have food, an open house. You come down to see the facilities. If you can't make it down, you can watch it on TV. It'll be quite the gala festivities. Our it's actually our fifth uh, open house. So back to Wednesdays, where we uh, see Speak Out Berkshire is a program hosted by Angelo Stracuzzi and Terry Williams. Angelo, of course, being counselor at large in Pittsfield. Terry Williams is uh, on the Dalton Finance Committee. That program, of course, uh, attracting a lot of attention. It's generally uh, of a political nature, people interested in uh, talking about something that had just happened at a city council meeting or maybe talking about the landfill in Dalton. There's always an interesting uh, topic going on on Speak Out Berkshires, and they certainly do give you an opportunity to speak out. So tune in Wednesday nights, the first and third Wednesday nights, live at 8 p.m. for Speak Out Berkshires. Also seen on uh, Wednesday nights, uh, a program that's gaining more and more popularity is uh, live Pittsfield School Committee meetings. Pittsfield School Committee meets on the second and the fourth Wednesday nights at 7.30 p.m. Now we have the capacity to go live from Pittsfield High School, so we do. We go with that meeting live on the second Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. They also meet on the fourth Wednesday, but that, it, meeting rotates around to the different schools in the school system and we can't unfortunately go live from all those places so uh, our producer Anita Norton w uh, goes out with a camcorder and shoots these meetings at a remote location and they're usually aired the next day on Thursday night uh, after that meeting so if you're interested in school committee meetings those are on live second Wednesday at 730 or taped on the four I would guess it would be the fourth Thursday of the month on Thursday nights, you can see one of the longest running programs on Channel 5. It's called You're Always at Home at Jerry's Place, hosted by one of our most fervent volunteers, Jerry Gardner, who happens to be operating the camera at the moment, so he's laughing at me. <laughs> uh, Jerry hosts a very informative, community-minded talk show that's live on the second and fourth Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Uh, you can tune in to see uh, potpourri, essentially just about anything uh, could happen on Jerry's Place. Uh, you could see people talking about community events. You could see somebody giving a stereo away. You don't know what's going to happen on Jerry's Place, but it's always interesting. It's fun. 
uh, and it's very friendly of a show. It's uh, not going to scare you away. So tune in on uh, second and fourth Thursday nights for Jerry's Place. Also seen on Thursdays is a program hosted by uh, State Representative Peter Larkin. It's called From the Berkshires to Beacon Hill. Always of interest, I think, uh, if you tune in. Recently, he's had uh, people from uh, the Housatonic River cleanup program and uh, Charlie Cook from the Planning Commission talking about the bypass. There's a lot of different topics that you can see on From the Berkshires to Beacon Hill and uh, it generally of interest uh, to the, the area at large, I would say, the county in general, and certainly the area that he serves. So tune in for From the Berkshires to Beacon Hill, Thursday nights at 6.30. On Friday nights, we have a program called Studio 5B, hosted and directed and produced by our volunteer, Chuck Wright. Chuck brings in bands and uh, area community musical talent. He brings them in and sometimes he talks to them, sometimes they perform. If you're into the band scene in uh, Berkshire County, uh, tune in because you'll see people that you've seen out in the clubs and, uh, and maybe that you'd like to see. Uh, so he brings in musical talent uh, that's always of interest and uh, it's a good looking show. Tune in to Studio 5B in concert Friday nights at 8. A program that has uh, had its beginnings in just in this past year is something called the Ministry Channel. It's hosted by uh, the Reverend Kevin Haverfield. Um, he puts on quite a production. He, uh, you'll, you'll notice many different sets and musical talent and uh, news and it, it's, it's quite a production here. It's all shot here in the studio at Channel 5 if you're interested. So again, tune into the Ministry Channel 6 p.m. each Friday night. Another program that's been uh, a long-lasting program here on Channel 5 is produced by Ad Lib Incorporated, a nonprofit group for uh, independent living. The program is called Focus on Independent Living, where you'll see topics of interest to uh, people with disabilities. It's a very interesting show. It's produced by people from the Ad Lib Center. Uh, it's a half an hour long. It's generally uh, also signed for the hearing impaired. So tune in to Focus on Independent Living. Friday nights at 7 p.m. In the past year, we've uh, done quite a bit more programming on Sundays, and especially Sunday evenings. Um, right now, you'll be able to see uh, something from the First Baptist Church at 10 in the morning on Sundays. That's a live program produced by John Ostrich, who's a member here at Channel 5 and also uh, on the board at Dalton Community Television. He produces that live from the First Baptist Church in Pittsfield. So you can see that service every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. At 3 p.m., you can tune into Channel 5 to see something called Rockwell Gallery Talk, Sunday at 3. And uh, appropriately, it is on Sunday at 3 p.m. Uh, it's a program produced again by Anita Norton, uh, who produces the school committee meetings. Uh, she brings you the Rockwell Gallery Talk, which happens down at the Rockwell Museum in Stockbridge. Uh, different topics relating to Rockwell's paintings and art and the moods that he used to create his art. Always a very interesting program. Rockwell Gallery Talk, Sunday at 3. It's on Sunday at 3. <laughs> also on Sunday evenings, if you've missed any of our live programming during the week, you might be able to catch it once again. Uh, frequently we re-air the programs Speak Out Berkshires, Straight Talk, uh, from the Berkshires to Beacon Hill and several of the other live programs that you've seen during the week. So if you happen to be around on Sunday evening and you'd like to catch a good quality Channel 5 program, tune in then. we got some special programs coming up this month on Channel 5. Um, if you have a son or daughter graduating from Pittsfield High School or Taconic High School, we have good news for you. We'll have crews out uh, at both locations taping the graduations this year. Uh, Pittsfield High School will be from Tanglewood, and Taconic High School will be at uh, Taconic High School. Uh, again, Anita Norton is producing both these productions, along with Dave Foley, who produces the city council meetings, and a couple other uh, uh, busy volunteers, should I say. Uh, so they'll be bringing you the graduations. They probably won't be on real soon after the graduations, but I would imagine in a couple weeks after, they'll have the post-production done on those and they'll be ready for air. So keep watching our schedules to see when the graduations from Pittsfield High School and Taconic High School will be on. 
Uh, once again, if anyone isn't familiar with Channel 5, I thought I'd uh, just go over a little bit of what happens here. Uh, we're a not-for-profit organization uh, designed to let community members come down and learn how to use TV to produce their own television programming. So all the programs you see on Channel 5 are produced by volunteers, just like yourself. People that had a, a small interest in TV or an interest in seeing a particular program come on the air, they brought it to fruition and brought it to reality by coming down and learning how to do it. Uh, it's really not that hard. We've had, we have presently about 94 members uh, who have learned everything from how to operate a camera, to how to direct the program, how to do audio, uh, how to edit and do post-production, how to do character generation and titles. And uh, we have workshops that are uh, currently offered. If you'd like to find out more about the workshops, please give us a call. That number is 445-4234. And you can speak to myself, Sean Sayre, or you can speak to our executive director, Garrett McCary. Thank you very much for letting me come into your house and let you know what's on Pittsfield Community Television, PCT5. We hope you keep watching and uh, please call us with your questions and comments. We'd love to hear how you think we're doing and how you think our volunteers are doing. Uh, the number here is 445-4234. We'd love to hear from you. Until next month, my name is Sean Sayre. Goodbye.